Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you again for all of your Facebook posts. I get such great questions on Facebook for great video blog topics, and this one I thought was so important. I hear it all the time. And Elizabeth from Facebook has asked me to address how we can keep our inner power when we fall in love with someone. And this is such a massive question. For me, for many, many years, I would completely relinquish my power the second I fell for somebody. And in effect, the relationship wouldn't work out because I would stop being genuine, I would stop being authentic, and I would start being someone who I thought I should be rather than be who I really am. And so the first step to just teach you, Elizabeth, and everybody else who may be falling into this trap is to recognize that what is so sexy and so awesome about you is your authenticity, is that power. And so the real power within us is our capacity to be authentic and real. And so my suggestion is in any given moment, just check yourself when you're on that date, when you're texting back, am I being real? If you're texting with an attitude, you're not being real. If you're trying to be cooler than you think you are, you're not being real. What I came to realize was the weird quirky parts of me are the cool, powerful parts of me. And so if you're just constantly checking in with your authenticity check and say, where am I, scale of one to 10 in my level of authenticity, 10 being the best, really just continuously ask yourself. And in those moments when you find yourself going down to a one, start to redirect, take a deep breath and just be you. And remember that when you are real, you are in your power. And that power is what is so attractive and that power is really what attracted that partner to you in the first place. And Really give that partner everything that you would want to give them, which is your truth. When we start to think, oh, I want to give somebody something that I think that they want, well, that doesn't work. And even when you think someone wants something, really, they may think they want all these outside things, but really all they want is your genuine connection. So the more real you can remain, the more real that relationship will be. And it won't feel comfortable when it's anything but authentic. Uh, there's a great chapter in my book, Spirit Junkie, called Spirit Became My Boyfriend. I also genuinely love this chapter because it just talks about how I allowed my spiritual practice to fill me up, that I became like a magnet for relationships. And it was just, a, it was a joke. I'd spent decades trying to get a relationship and then all of a sudden everything was coming to me because I had magnetized my own energy field. And so if you're Spirit Junkie readers, maybe reread that chapter and give yourself a little bit of a jump start so that you can bring your A game to your relationships and just let that spiritual presence within you be what's so attractive about you rather than trying to be anything but who you really are. So trust that you won't lose your power when you keep it real. Thanks everybody. Have a wonderful day. Satnam.